low ESL 40, MC ESL 49. Congratulations on being done with the unit on nouns. We are now starting our final unit of the semester. Yay! You guys are almost there. Our new unit is on gerunds and infinitives. I love this unit because we go into the rules behind when we use gerunds and when we use infinitives. And that is one of the most commonly um, mistaken topics in grammar. So it's pretty great. All right, so let's get started. All right. I also finally upgraded my PowerPoint app, and so now I have all of these super cool PowerPoints that I'm going to use. I'm pretty excited. It's the little things, right? <laughs> all right, so today we're going to go um, through an introduction of gerunds, an introduction to infinitives. We're going to, going to do a little bit of practice, and then we're going to talk about your homework, right? So let's get started. What is a gerund? A gerund is the ing form of a verb, for example, swimming. A gerund combines the action meaning of a verb and the grammatical function of a noun. For example, I love swimming. Now this might be confusing, okay, because we know that when we see ing, um, often that is the continuous form or the progressive form of a verb. However, there are some times when we have see ing words that are actually not verbs. They have the action sense of the verb, but where it is located or where they are located in the sentences show us that they actually act like nouns. I know that sounds super confusing, but let's look at this example, I love swimming. What is the verb here? It's love, right? So is swimming a verb too? No, because we, I love swimming is not the progressive. You could say I am swimming and that is the progressive form. But I love swimming just means I love this activity. I love this action, okay? So this is why gerunds are um, super special and sometimes get confused with the progressive form. When you are a little bit confused by this, just double check, does the ing, um, word, is it directly associated with a verb like the auxiliary verb, am, is, are? If it's not, it's probably a gerund. So what are the gerund rules? Rule number one, gerunds belong as subjects of the sentence. So rule number one is S equals G, okay? So let's look. Playing with my dogs is my favorite thing to do. Playing is the gerund. It is in the subject position. Catching up with my friends is so nice after a long day. Catching up is the gerund. It is also in the subject position. Doing homework is difficult, but I can do it. Doing is in the subject position and it is a gerund. We know that these are gerunds because they have ing form and they are in the first position, the subject position of a sentence. This is a really common place for gerunds to be. Rule number two, prepositions plus gerunds. Gerunds can come after prepositions. So I thought about going to the store, but I decided against it. Here, about is our preposition, and going is the gerund. I totally believe in washing my hands frequently throughout the day. In is our preposition, and washing is the gerund. Last one, I am looking forward to spending time with my friends soon. To is our preposition, and spending is our gerund. Now we know that to does not belong to a verb because spending is an ing form and we cannot do to spending in terms of a verb. We could say to spend and we're going to talk about infinitives here in a minute, but we cannot say I'm looking forward um, to spend time with my friends soon. We would say to spending time with my friends soon because it's an action, it's an activity. Last rule, rule number three, verbs plus gerunds. Gerunds can be the objects of verbs, and these verbs are called main verbs, okay? So the verbs in pink are the main verbs. The first one, I love swimming in the ocean when it's hot. Love is our main verb, swimming is our gerund. I hope working out will make me healthy and strong. Hope is our main verb, working out is our gerund. She can imagine going to all her favorite restaurants this summer. 
imagine is the main verb and going is the gerund. Now, there are um, a lot of main verbs that are associated with gerunds. Remember that gerund is not the verb. We, our verbs are in pink here. So when I say main verb, that means the verb that comes before the gerund. Now these are all of the main verbs that are followed by gerunds. You do not need to memorize all of them, but we do need to familiarize ourselves with them. What I suggest is looking at these verbs and thinking, what verbs do I use often? Then I would just practice and make sure that I know that these verbs are followed by gerunds. So let's go through them. Admit, like I admit going to the store takes a long time. Advise, I advised him, nope, sorry, I advised, taking their time during their test. Appreciate. I appreciate calling you on the phone every Monday. Avoid. I avoid driving in the dark. Complete. I completed doing my homework this morning. Consider. I considered going to the beach with my friends but decided against it. Can you see that I just have the beach on my mind today? Deny. I denied lying. Discuss. We discussed, we discussed talking to him, but we decided we we're not going to. Dislike. I dislike eating fish. Enjoy. I enjoy eating fish. Finish. I finished completing all of my homework. Imagine. I imagine traveling the world. Keep, I keep going back to this one person. Mention, I mentioned seeing him the other day and she didn't say anything about it. Mind, I don't mind going to the store for you. Miss, I miss going to the store. Practice, I am practicing speaking confidently. Quit, I quit smoking. I didn't smoke, that's just an example. Recommend, I recommend trying everything once. Suggest, I suggest taking your time. Now let's go through some gerunds practice. Fill in the blanks on your own. So pause this video and take a few minutes to fill in the blanks. Remember, we're talking about gerunds. Okay, so you took a few minutes and filled in the blanks. Let me tell you what I decided to fill it in with. Drinking coffee is my favorite thing to do on Saturday mornings. I know that I wanted to say drinking instead of drink because this is a subject and I know that gerunds belong in the subject. I have not thought about living in Australia for so long. I use a gerund because of the word about and that's a preposition. I know that gerunds come after prepositions. I recommend drinking eight glasses of water a day. Recommend is my main verb here, so I know that gerunds come after recommend, so that's why I put drinking. I'm wondering what you guys put. All right, so we're now, now going to move on to infinitives. What is an infinitive? An infinitive is the two plus base form of a verb, for example, to swim. An infinitive combines the action meaning of a verb and the grammatical function of a noun. Example, I love to swim. So this is the exact same as the gerund, except the form is different. So what are the infinitive rules? Rule number one, adjectives plus infinitives. Infinitives can come after adjectives. It was great to see you the other day. Great is the adjective, to see is the infinitive. Her speeches are so interesting to listen to. Interesting is the adjective, to listen is the infinitive. She said that the car accident was horrible to watch. Horrible is the adjective, to watch is the infinitive. Rule number two, nouns plus gerunds. Gerunds can come after nouns and pronouns. I told him to stay in the car while I ran into the store. Him is our noun slash pronoun, and to stay is our infinitive. 
I would like my dogs to sleep in my bed, but my husband says it's not possible. True. Dogs is the noun and to sleep is the infinitive. I asked Cindy to stop speaking while I was trying to give her directions. Cindy is the noun, to stop is the infinitive. What are the infinitive rules number three? Verb plus infinitive. This might look exactly the same as the third rule for gerunds because it is. Infinitives can be the object of verbs. These verbs are called main verbs. I love to swim in the ocean when it's hot outside. Love is our main verb and to swim is our infinitive. I agreed to watch my friend's kids today. Agreed is the infinitive to watch it. Sorry, agreed is the verb, is the main verb. To watch is the infinitive. She promised to go to the gym with me tomorrow. Promised is the main verb. To go is the infinitive. So this is the exact same. And we can tell if we should use a gerund or infinitive based on the main verb, okay? So there are main verbs followed by infinitives, just like main verbs followed, sorry, main verbs that are followed by infinitives, just like there are main verbs followed by gerunds. So let's go through some of them. Afford. I cannot afford to buy that. Agree. I agreed to see her later. Appear. Hmm. She appeared to be happy. Ask. I asked to go to the bathroom. Decide. I decided to apply to that school. Expect. I expect to see her later. Hope. I hope to go running soon. Intend. Hmm. I intend to talk with them tomorrow. Learn. I learned to change a tire on a car. Mean. I meant to send the email earlier. Need. I need to call the insurance company. Offer. I offered to drop off groceries. Plan. I planned to do my work this morning. Prepare. I prepared hmm, to watch a scary movie. Promise. I promised to text her tonight. Refuse. I refuse to see her anymore. Seem. She seemed Hmm. She seems to try to understand. Volunteer. I volunteered to pick up my kids later. Wait. I waited to see the finale until my husband was home. Want. I want to eat a donut. I love these. <laughs> So let's do some infinitive practice. Fill in the blanks. So pause the video, fill in the blanks on your own piece of paper. Okay, so you pause the video and you gave yourself a few minutes to fill in the blanks. Let me show you what I did. It makes me so happy to listen to my favorite music. Happy is an adjective, so I know that it's followed by the infinitive. I told him to slow down when he drives. Him is the noun slash pronoun, and too slow is the infinitive. We really need to start cooking more often. Need is the main verb, to start is the infinitive. Now there are verbs, main verbs, that are followed by both, or can be followed by both, and we can go through these together. So hate, I hate speaking in public, or I hate to speak in public. Totally fine. I like running or I like to run. I love to dance, I love dancing. I prefer to watch, I prefer watching. I started to try, I started trying. I began to talk, I began talking. I continued to see him, I continued seeing him. So both are fine. 
Now this is our homework. We're going to go to Canvas Modules Unit 4. We're going to find the gerunds and infinitives packet. You're going to read through the notes section and then you're going to complete these exercises. I know these look like a lot of exercises, but the first few are pretty easy. And please email me if you have any questions on this work, but the answers are at the bottom of the packet. All right, you guys, thank you for being with me on our first day of gerunds and infinitives. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Okay, goodbye.